a head shave with the metaphor from Phoenix Shaving coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and much shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit, welcome. Make yourself at home, look around, check out the videos, and also please consider subscribing. Well, in a previous video, I had a shave with this razor, the Meta 4. It is a fantastic, fantastic razor and gives an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, mild, efficient shave. And because I had such a great face shave with it, we're going to have a head shave with it right now. And uh, absolutely wonderful razor. Three-piece razor. And if you didn't see the review, please go back, check it out, because this razor is wonderful. It is the Flare Tip series where this tip can be removed and replaced with different color tips. But I'm going to show you that slot and groove kind of base and cap. Got a sculpted uh, cap here. Uh, completely 316L stainless steel. Wonderful, wonderful razor. So we're going to go ahead and set those pieces down. And I'm going to use a blade. I got it right here on a magnet right here above my mirror. There it is right there. Now this is something I learned from viewers. Uh, in a Monday morning mailbag, here is my magnet right here. This is a, a little clip, uh, like a, almost like a clothespin clip. Uh, it's a refrigerator magnet, and I happened to see it on my refrigerator, and I thought, well, hey, all I have to do is flip it around and just put it at the top of my mirror right there on the lip, and I can just keep my blade there for safekeeping. So that's what I've done. So it goes right up there on the top lip of the mirror, and now all I have to do is just pull my razor blade off, let it dry. I don't have to pat dry anymore. And that was an absolutely great tip from uh, from viewers. So here I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, cap and base plate right there. Going to get that blade. There it is right there. It's a shark super chrome blade. Second use. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. Going to get my handle. Put that. Just screw that in. There we go. Okay, again, blade balance and alignment are spot on. Just absolutely wonderful. We're going to have a shave with it. Going to do a head shave. Really looking forward to it. So um, let's kick it off and let's wet the head and let's get to it. Now I got about two days worth of growth here. I'm going to start off with the uh, the cube 2.0, and then I'm just going to work that in. I'm not going to rinse after working this up. I'm going to go straight to the lather. Okay, that's good. All right. Put my razor over here. All right, I've got, uh, I'm going to be using Diver Down from uh, Phoenix Shaving. This is a uh, terrific, terrific scent. Great soap, Formula CK6. Have a little hot water sitting on top of the puck. I'm just going to dump that in like that. I have my Atomic Rocket here soaking in the sink. So we're going to go ahead and start making a lather right from this. Just gonna load that brush, and we're just gonna lather directly on the head. We've got that pre shave soap there, which is gonna add a little extra slickness, I think. It's gonna add some water to this, because as I always tell you, CK6 likes water. I got about two days worth of growth here. So I'm looking forward to shaving it off. Now this Atomic Rocket has a 26 millimeter knot, so it's a very generous knot 
which is why I like to use it for head shapes. I also like the way this handle is shaped because I get a good grasp of it. And it seems to give me good coverage. I'm able to move it around very well, very vigorously, really get that ladder going. You can also do a little bit of pumping here to get some air into that. That helps to build a ladder. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's that's a good ladder. Look at that. That pumping action really does help. If you do a head shave and you're doing it like this, just do this. It will really just bring some air in there and just help to just fluff up that lather. Just give you a little more thickness and cream. All right. That's got it. The Diver Down's got a great scent. Got a great kick to it. All right, so I'm just going to heat up this razor under some hot, hot, hot water. Going to swirl in the sink to bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, this is a really good choice for a head shape. I can already tell. Very smooth, very mild. One of the best tips I got from other wet shavers who shave their head is to not use a mirror when you're shaving the back of your head. It kind of throws you off looking at that reflection. Just do it by feel. And that's what I've been doing. And it seems to work. It takes a little bit of practice. And you kind of have to feel where... The area needs to be shaved and where the lather is and that sort of thing. But it seems to work very well once you get the hang of it. Now this razor is quite good for doing a head shave because as the top of my head gets thinner, this razor doesn't feel to be so aggressive that it's going to nick me. Well, so far so good. And I'm able to find this blade angle throughout the stroke here very easily. I am adjusting that angle to make sure that I'm feeling that, that blade, but I'm able to find it without any trouble at all. All right. All right, let's just throw a little bit of water up there, relather, and do a second pass. Okay, so I'm not so much rinsing as I am throwing a little bit of water up there so I can reapply the lather and get an idea how much of a, how good that first pass was. And that was a that was better than other first passes, just by just what little I felt there. So I'm sure it's going to be two passes, a little bit of touch up, and I'll be done. Okay, that's got it. Another great coating of lather. <laughs> I love Formula CK6. Okay, so uh, my first pass is uh, pretty much uh, down on the sides and then front to back. 
The second pass is uh, going to be from back to front, starting at the back of the neck, the base of the neck, and coming forward. So I'm just doing like this. I'm going to try and get behind the ear here and see how well we get that with this razor. Again, usually on this second pass, when I get to the top of my head where the skin is thinner, got to be careful that I don't nick myself. Because it does get thinner up there. But this razor seems to be mild and quite forgiving in that department. Terrific, 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 terrific. Adjusting that angle as I do these shame strokes, I can really, really feel the blade. There's a nice smoothness and efficiency there. That really works very, very well. Okay. Now, let me just... All I need to do is touch up. It seems right here, after every head shape, regardless of the razor, right here I need to touch up, but that's okay. And I think that's about it. So let me just go ahead and throw a little bit of water on there, and we'll just get some lather to do that touch up. Okay, now what I do in this touch-up here is I take the lather right off of the brush. This is the way I like to do it. And I just place it on my hand. And I just go back and just actually feel those areas that need to be touched up and just make sure that I have lather there. And just get those areas that I think I missed, but I make sure that I have some lather there. Love the fact the end tabs are enclosed when I'm shaving right around my ears. That's terrific. That really gave me, really, this is going to get a little bit light here. Just a wonderful head shape. Yeah, mild razors are more suited for me when I'm doing a head shave. Absolutely. This is a good one. This really is. It may be just, just a little bit right here. Okay. Okay, that's it. Now I can rinse. A very nice, smooth result. I'm going to do two more rinses. I'm going to uh, get some warm water out of the tap and just rinse my head off and then uh, do cold water rinse. Okay, here's warm water. Okay. Gonna, 
kind of running down my face here because I got my head kind of upside down in the sink there. Okay, so here's the cold water rinse. Wow, <laughs> that's cold. Ah, that's terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That's terrific. That's terrific. A nice, boy, that's nice and smooth. And it is, you know, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Well, let's get the Allen block and let's run it across the skin there and see what kind of feedback we get. When I did a face shave, three passes, no stinging, no zinging, smooth as ice. I'm expecting the same with this. And yeah, smooth as ice. And it's nice not to see any nicks or weepers or cuts. Just to have that hair off, shaved off cleanly and efficiently. And for me, mildly, or in a mild, with a, in a mild shave, a mild shave, just fantastic. Here is the uh, dry dock system, no slip grip from Phoenix Shaving there, Allen Block. All right, I'm going to let that set up a little bit. And again, uh, let me just rinse this razor off here. Yeah, boy, this is this is absolutely a wonderful razor. Now, I have the original tip on there. I'll show you here. Okay, you can swap it out with colored, color tips, color tips that they have, different colored tips that they have. And... Um, just a terrific, you can use it as a short handled razor if you want to. Just change up the weight a little bit, maybe the approach angle a little bit. Uh, I like to use it like this. Terrific, terrific razor. Okay, now, <laughs> almost fell over there. Now we're going to use a little bit of diver down on the head there. Yeah, boy, this stuff's got a kick. And I'm going to use some uh, Everyman Jack. This is unscented poche balm, about that much right there. It's got some good ingredients in there. Just kind of mix that up. So it's going to be kind of a scented balm, so to speak. Next time around, I got to get the Diver Down Star Jelly. I'm going to use just a little more. Just a little more. Yeah, I'm down. I'm getting down to my last little bit of this. There we go, right there. Yeah, this is terrific stuff. Good, very, very good. And with the uh, the diver down, just a little more. Get a scented balm. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific, right there. Great head shape. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, feels great right now. The the diver down has uh, has a little kick, and there's a, a great uh, liveliness to my scalp right now, which I really enjoy. Um, terrific razor. Just really, really like this razor a lot. 316L stainless steel. Nice heft, mild and efficient. Perfect for my head shave. Perfect for a face shave. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, if I travel, I'm seriously going to consider taking this razor with me because of the quality shave that it gives me. Um, but if I do, I'm going to make sure I have another one in reserve at home, just in case this one comes up missing. Uh, I hate to have that happen, but it'll be nice to have one at home to come back to. Uh, but uh, yeah, terrific. Terrific razor. Also love this knurling pattern on the handle. Really gave me a sure, secure grip throughout the entire uh, head shape. And uh, once the handle was screwed into the uh, razor head, uh, did not loosen up at all. I did check once and it was firm and secure. So that's, that's a really nice quality to have as well. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. 
Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company, use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook, check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great shaving gear. The metaphor, it's a wonderful razor. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organizing, categorizing, you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.